From a crater almost a mile long to bizarre life forms in the deep seas. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number 7. Belly Aching Now, as you may have heard, when Europeans arrived in the Americas around 500 years ago, they brought along a number of diseases as well, including smallpox and measles. But a new study has revealed that the immigrants from the Old World also brought along a malady that was lesser known until now. A harmful stomach bacteria also arrived with the Europeans, one that can play a part in ulcers and stomach cancer, and is still active today in Latin America. H. pylori bacteria is known to ease spread to people in close proximity, mostly from parent to child, and can persist for decades in the stomach. Experts say the foreign bacterium intermingled with and quickly replaced indigenous strains and could still be playing a role in high mortality rates of stomach cancer in the Latin American region. Royal Goods the pendant of a Maya king was found in Belize that dates to around 672 AD. The ancient jade pendant was found in Nimli Punit, a mountainous archaeological site in the southern part of the country. The pendant was carved into a T-shape, and experts say that shape signifies wind and breath, and was found to a vessel thought to portray a god of wind revered by the Maya. The jade is the only one of its kind discovered that has 30 hieroglyphs etched into it, thought to represent historical text. Text. One inscription indicates the pendant was used in 672 AD for a religious ritual. Scientists think it was buried by the year 800, but not by its owner. It was likely buried as an offering to the wind god because it contained great power and magic. The inscription is still being analyzed, but so far, it seems to describe the parentage and ascension of a king. First discovered in 2015, experts say it's unusual to find such an item so far away from one of the Maya world's biggest cities. eating frogs. Would you have guessed that frogs can turn cannibal? When male poison frogs enter new territories, they've been observed to eat all the clutches of eggs found there, which is in stark contrast to their paternal behavior. They're known to care for clutches, even if they're not their own, but only if they're located within the territory. Behaviors like cannibalism and infanticide have been observed in primates, birds, fish, and feline predators. Experts say male animals do this to give them a better chance of Firing their own offspring. In the case of poison frogs, the cannibalism serves territorial purposes. It clears out their rival's territory, making it their own, and ensures that all future clutches there belong to them. That's in addition to the clutches providing a valuable and tasty food source for the invaders. Ancient life. The oldest confirmed microfossils have been dated at around three and a half billion years old, but scientists recently announced that they have discovered fossil microbes that date to around 3.77 billion years old and could provide evidence of the earliest life yet found. The ancient fossil microbes were located on Canada's seafloor and, if confirmed, would surpass proposed fossils discovered in Greenland. Those are estimated at around 3.7 billion years old. The newly located microbes were found in rock discovered in northern Quebec along the eastern shore of Hudson Bay. Upon examination, microscopic tubes and filaments appeared within Jasper Rock, which appeared to be the mineralized remains of bacteria. Scientists think a single strand could indicate a line of cells. Because the rocks containing the filaments are thought to come from ancient hydrothermal vents, experts theorize that life may have begun in a heated environment. Some scientists claim the fossilized organisms could date back back nearly 4.3 billion years, which would make them almost as old as the Earth itself at some 4.5 billion years old. Now, if confirmed, that certainly begins life began far earlier than previously thought. Three's company. When it comes to the mating habits of wolf spiders, it seems that three is indeed company. Researchers have observed threesomes copulating for as many as four hours without a break. And normally, these spiders mate for no more than an hour. So what causes the arachnids' amorous activity? Experts think it may have to do with the arrangement of two males and one female. The third wheel waits for the other mate to court the female before joining in. Because prolonged mating increases the female's killing 
killing instinct, it reduces the chance of that third male becoming a meal for the female. The ladies are known to cannibalize the suitors if the courtship doesn't measure up. Another reason for staying on the sidelines is that males won't fight each other over the female if one is already mating with her. While the wallflower behavior doesn't necessarily seal the deal, practicing this form of safe sex does serve to prolong the life of the male wolf spider. Hellmouth Crater Located in Siberia, the Batagaika Crater is almost a mile long and is nearly 300 feet deep in some areas, and it's been growing at a rate of up to 100 feet each year as permafrost continues to thaw. It initially formed in the 1960s, after forest land was cleared in the area. The process was sped up by warming temperatures that caused layers of surface soil to sink as the permafrost decayed, resulting in a massive hollow that experts call a mega slump. The sound of falling soil results in a loud booming noise, which causes many locals to refer to the crater as the gateway to the underworld. Researchers have found the remains of animals like ancient bison and mammoths that date back more than 4,000 years within the crater, and analysis has shown that soil from the permafrost dates back to around some 200,000 years. Experts say that by examining the exposed layers, they can better understand ancient changes in the landscape that might impact the future. Cosmic Jellyfish. Now, if you watch Deep Sea Sunday here on Epic Wildlife, and if you do, congratulations on your excellent taste, you already know that the oceans contain some bizarre otherworldly critters. Well, the NOAA's 2017 American Samoa Expedition is underway, and it has already yielded some amazing pictures of amazing creatures. Among the deep sea life encountered was a strange jellyfish that resembles a UFO, and was nicknamed a Cosmic Jellyfish by observers. It at various times it seemed to hover in the water with a saucer-like shape, and then it would assume a different form as it swam off. You can see how it has two sets of tentacles, and those shiny yellow forms are likely the creature's gonads. Another unusual critter encountered was a sea anemone perched on top of a coral. Now just look at the spiky tentacles arrayed about its pink open mouth. No wonder it's known as the Venus flytrap anemone. A single hydroid was located at a depth of more than 12,000 feet by a remote operated vehicle. The bizarre looking creature is closely related to jellyfish and you can see how its tentacles form a skirt of sorts around its lower portion. The ROV also caught images of the sea robin fish, which appeared to be walking on the seafloor. The creature has rays that fan out from its side, which serve as tiny legs so it can hunt for prey. The expedition is scheduled to continue for two more months as it collects information on the region. This is Trending Tuesdays.